Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Here to discuss the first derivative test, uh, and basically it's used for finding local minimum and maximum. And I'll just go over it. I'll do some examples later on later videos. But anyways, basically the first derivative test. It's basically a consequence of the increasing and decreasing test. You can see my earlier video on that. So basically the first derivative test uh, goes like this. Suppose that c is a critical number of a continuous function f. Number critical number, like I showed in my earlier video, is basically any number where, where the derivative is zero or does not exist. So basically now you have three parts of this first derivative test. Part A is if the derivative f prime changes from positive to negative at c at this critical number, then f has a local maximum. If f prime changes from negative to positive, at c then f has a local minimum at c but if f does not change sign at all for example if it's positive on both sides of c or negative both sides then f has no local max or minimum uh, at c yeah now here in helping remember this first derivative test it's pretty straightforward if you draw this out there's gonna be four scenarios for example the first one is if f changes from positive to negative, so basically you're, this just means you're increasing based on the increasing decreasing test. So you're increasing as it's positive, and then once it's critical number zero, and then it's gonna go down negative. So right here, at this point right here, this is C, the critical called C1. So this is increasing here, or the derivative is positive left of C, and then it changes from positive to negative and where negative is going downwards and uh, yeah, basically based from the increasing decreasing test so now we have this is the first case so this one we'll call this a and then basically and the next one is when we have in this case yeah, as you see we're going downwards and then we're gonna go back upwards here so at this very point right here this is we'll call this c2 the derivative is zero is a horizontal line, but here we're going from a negative, which is already here negative, and now we're going back up to positive right here. So it's, we're going from negative to positive. As you can see, this is a local max on this case, so now this is a local minimum. You can see definitions of local minimum max in my earlier videos. Bas basically, if it looks like this: the local uh, max, the local minimum here, and then now the next one is. It will, I'll just write this is b. In this case is b. Now the next one is if if the derivative does not change sign at c for example let's say this one here it goes from it's positive it goes to zero right here and then it goes back up so as you can see this is the new critical number c3 call this c3 then at, at this point right here the derivative is positive but then at, at to the right of the c or the critical number here because it goes it's a horizontal slope here it's still positive so then this is basically, it has no local max or min because as you can see, there is no curvature down or curvature up. So this is a part, this is also C. And another way, another version of it is if you're going down like this, you're going down and then it's basically a slope of zero here and then you go back down. So this one, you're going down here, negative. You get to the critical number where it's derivative of a zero, C4. And then again to the right of this, it's also going down and still negative sign. So this is also C. So these two are both C. Anyways, that is all for today. This is just a quick video on the first derivative test. And anyways, uh, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.